The discoveries made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope are truly awesome. Besides the discoveries, we get to witness the beauty of outer space, the space beyond our solar system. The JWST has sent us beautiful images of nebulas and galaxies in deep space thousands of light years away from our home in the Milky Way galaxy. In this video, we take a look at another of James Webb's latest images, a giant tarantula-shaped nebula far away in a foreign galaxy. Stay tuned and watch! Before we begin, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dive right into today's content. Once upon a space-time, a cosmic creation story unfolded. Thousands of never-before-seen young stars spotted in a stellar nursery called 30 Doritas, captured by NASA's JWST. Nicknamed the Tarantula Nebula for the appearance of its dusty filaments in previous telescope images, the nebula has long been a favorite for astronomers studying star formation. In addition to young stars, Webb reveals distant background galaxies as well as the detailed structure and composition of the nebula's gas and dust. You'll be surprised to learn that the Tarantula Nebula is visible from Earth. The nebula was first observed by Nicholas Louis de la Cale during an expedition to the Cape of Good Hope between 1751 and 1753. He catalogued it as the second of the nebulae of the first class, nebulosities not accompanied by any star visible in the telescope of two feet. It was described as a diffuse nebula 20 feet across. Johann Bode included the tarantula in his 1801 Uranographia Star Atlas and listed it in the accompanying Allemagne Becherechbund die Nachweisung der Gestirn catalog as number 30 in the constellation Zephyus or Dorado. Instead of being given a stellar magnitude, it was noted to be nebulous. The name Tarantula Nebula arose in the mid-20th century from the appearance in deep photographic exposures. 30 Doritas has often been treated as the designation of a star or of the central star cluster NGC 2070, but is now generally treated as referring to the whole nebula area of the Tarantula Nebula. At only 161,000 light years away in the large Magellanic Cloud Galaxy, the Tarantula Nebula is the largest and brightest star forming region in the local group, the galaxies nearest our Milky Way. It is home to the hottest, most massive stars known. Astronomers focused three of Webb's high-resolution infrared instruments on the tarantula. Viewed with Webb's near-infrared camera, the region resembles a burrowing tarantula's home lined with its silk. The nebulous cavity centered in the NERCAM image has been hollowed out by blistering radiation from a cluster of massive young stars, which sparkle pale blue in the image. Only the densest surrounding areas of the nebula resist erosion by these stars' powerful stellar winds, forming pillars that appear to point back towards the cluster. These pillars contain forming protostars, which will eventually emerge from their dusty cocoons and take their turn shaping the nebula. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph caught one very young star doing just that. Astronomers previously thought this star might be a bit older and already in the process of clearing out a bubble around itself. However, NERSPEC showed that the star was only just beginning to emerge from its pillar and still maintained an insulating cloud of dust around itself. Without Webb's high-resolution spectra at infrared wavelengths, this episode of star formation in action could not have been revealed. The region takes on a different appearance when viewed in the longer infrared wavelengths detected by Webb's mid-infrared instruments. The hot stars fade and the cooler gas and dust glow. Within the stellar nursery clouds, points of light indicate embedded protostars still gaining mass. While shorter wavelengths of light are absorbed or scattered by dust grains in the nebula and therefore never reach Webb to be detected, longer mid-infrared wavelengths penetrate that dust, ultimately revealing a previously unseen cosmic environment. One of the reasons the Tarantula Nebula is interesting to astronomers is that the nebula has a similar type of chemical composition as the gigantic star-forming regions observed at the universe's cosmic noon, when the cosmos was only a few billion years old and star formation was at its peak. Star-forming regions in our Milky Way galaxy are not producing stars at the same furious rate as the Tarantula Nebula and have a different chemical composition. This makes the Tarantula the closest, i.e. easiest to see in detail, example of what was happening in the universe as it reached its brilliant high noon. Webb will provide astronomers the opportunity to compare and contrast observations of star formation in the Tarantula Nebula with the telescope's deep observations of distant galaxies from the actual era of cosmic noon. Despite humanity's thousands of years of stargazing, the star formation process still holds many mysteries. 
many of them due to our previous inability to get crisp images of what was happening behind the thick clouds of stellar nurseries. Webb has already begun revealing a universe never seen before and is only getting started on rewriting the stellar creation story. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.